A senior advocate of Nigeria, Robert Clark, has been speaking about the facts surrounding the ownership of the Bakasi Peninsula. In an interview with our judicial correspondent, Shola Shoyele, the legal practitioner says Nigeria has never owned the Bakasi, but some legal practitioners who thought they could procure a false judgment led the country down the path of submitting to the jurisdiction of the World Court. In 1979, the civilian government came in, and Akinjide became the attorney general. Richard Akinjide. They became the attorney general. So the Bakasi issue started again, and they were negotiating. Under the... Under Shagari. Okay. But no agreement was reached on it, because typical way of doing things in Nigeria, we all believe we owned it. Whereas, as I said, as lawyers, if we have looked at the facts, we will have known we did not own it. So our attitude will have been different because... 80% of uh, Bakasi people are Nigerians. We can defend it by force. So, knowing fully well that we do not own it, we should not have subscribed to going to the World Court for adjudication. Because once we go there and we have ratified the treaty, we are bound by the decision. Now, again, Shagari government left away. Abacha, with due respect to him, wanted, said nobody can take Bakasi from Nigeria. He was ready to fight to restore. But again, he sought good advice from some people, in quote, who told him that, look, don't fight this thing. The records show Nigeria does not own it. But lo and behold, those who wanted to go to the court, believing that Nigeria has a judge, Ajibola, there, believing that uh, in the old way of doing things in Nigeria, we can manufacture judgments, decided to spend colossal sum of money paying foreign lawyers and Nigerian lawyers, and went and disgraced herself in, uh, in the court. Now, fortunately, you have to give credit to Obasanjo. After the judgment, we discovered there was nothing we could do, and Obasanjo realized it, good to him. So he now settled with them and said, OK, Nigeria has invested so much in Bakasi, in manpower, in money, in this. OK, let us draw up an agreement for us to have an economic interest for the next 20 years. And that is what Abbasundu achieved for us.